Six for Harmer spins Essex to victory. It had all been going swimmingly for Essex. They'd started their second innings with a 100-run lead, but would finish day three, five down, with only 63 added to the total. A fascinating final day lay in wait, with both sides in with a chance of victory. Michael Pepper would fall with just one run added, caught by Gay off White. Palmer hit out. He and Critchley tried to counter. The partnership pushed the score to 84 when Harmer was out caught by Vascon Salos off White, who soon sealed a fifer. Snater out two balls later, LBW for a duck. And Critchley fell to White too, caught by Gay at second slip for 20. Cook and Allison managed to get Essex beyond 100. The visitors all out for 110 when Taylor saw the back of Cook caught by Sales. That meant Northamptonshire were set a not too imposing target of 211 to win, a chance given to them by Jack White 6 for 38. Critchley, the only Essex batter to make it past 20. But Northamptonshire's chances took an early blow. Emilio Gay outcaught behind off Snater in the sixth over of the innings to leave Northamptonshire 19 for 1 at lunch. Northamptonshire brought the 50 up after the break, but Essex put them under pressure almost immediately. Young looked to pad away the delivery from Harmer, but it spat past his legs and bowled him for 30. The visitors grabbed their chance. Vasken Stavos cleaned up by Cook as he aimed a big heave across the line. Keo went to the first ball he faced, leaving the delivery to flick his pads and give an out to LBW. Northamptonshire hopes were fading. Proctor sent on his way for two, caught behind off Cook. They were all but over when Sales fell LBW to Harmer, the Essex spinner once again tearing through a side on a fourth day track. Taylor and Zabe were unable to move Northamptonshire to 100, separated when the number six left a straight one and was bowled by Harmer for 19. But in Gareth Berg, Tom Taylor found a partner that would stick with him and put the pressure back on Essex. The wickets dried up and as the required runs steadily dropped, Northamptonshire inched closer. Harmer saw the back of Taylor for 26 caught tamely at short leg by Nick Brown, but at T, Northamptonshire needed 54 runs, but they only had two wickets in hand. If they were going to get there, it looked like Berg would be the man to do it, but he would fall on 39, his side 48 away from victory, when he was caught at short leg off Harmer, his fifth of the innings. It took him two balls to finish it off. White attempted the reverse sweep, Harmer found the pads, and Essex had sealed the win by 47 runs. It was a fitting finale, really. Simon Harmer, such a potent player in the LB County Championship, once again producing the goods on the final day of the season with six for 49. Northamptonshire had made it interesting, but will finish in the bottom half of the table. Essex finished fourth, joining Hampshire, Lancashire and champion Surrey as the only sides to have put more than 200 on the board. Both will be determined to go a step further next year.